For today, I'll be sharing with you my own version of this very interesting, very delicious, and slightly controversial dish. Today, I'll be sharing with you my version of the Pinoy Carbonara with U.S. Pork Luncheon Meat and U.S. Pork Bacon. Okay, so bago ako magluto, bakit ko nga ba nasabi na controversial itong dish na to? Because originally, ang carbonara is from Italy and it is made with just four ingredients, pero excluding yung noodles yan. Ang ginagamit nila for noodles, lagi ay spaghetti, pero gumagamit rin sila ng linguine and fettuccine. So the four ingredients that traditionally ang ginagamit nila for this recipe are only eggs, pecorino romano cheese, guanciale, or yung kanilang pork cured meat, and freshly ground black pepper. Actually, mga ka-chefies, meron akong video na nung traditional way of cooking the carbonara. Pero, naging controversial siya kasi maraming versions ng carbonara. Dito lang sa Pilipinas, marami na. Pero alam nyo ba na hindi lang dito, even abroad, marami na mga versions ng carbonara. In fact, one popular celebrity chef na si Nigella Lawson, she also made her own version of this. At marami nag-bash sa kanya sa internet because she used cream, white wine and not big. Siyempre, mga Italiano na galit. So, sa mga nanonood ngayon, sa mga Italiano na mga nanonood ngayon, this is my version of the Pinoy Carbonara. So, please, no bashing. At saka dito sa Pilipinas, yung ating Carbonara, actually, very different na from how it is originally made kasi wala na yung mga ingredients na yun. In fact, we don't use egg, but we use cream. O, di ba? At mas pasasarapin ko ngayon ang ating dish because I'll be using U.S. pork luncheon meat and U.S. pork bacon. Pero bago ang lahat, lulutuin ko na muna yung ating spaghetti. Punta na tayo dito sa ating lutuan. So, meron na tayo ditong kumukulong tubig sa isang pot. What I'm gonna do is add an ample amount of salt dito sa ating pot. So the reason why I added salt to our water is para dun kasi kukunin yung lasa ng ating pasta. So don't scrimp on your salt, damihan nyo yan. Tapos lagay na natin yung ating noodles. Yung iba nilalagyan nila ng oil, yung kanilang water, pero hindi yun nakakatulong sa pagluto ng ating pasta. You don't need to add oil to your water. What you can do is after you drain it later, doon kayo maglagay ng oil para hindi siya maging sticky. Okay, so now let's put our spaghetti. Okay, so just wait for this to cook. I like my pasta al dente, meaning it's firm to the bite kasi kahit na gano'n pa kasarap yung pasta sauce nyo, pag soggy yung noodles nyo, fail yung inyong recipe. So it's very important that you cook your noodles according to the package instructions. Usually ako naman, ang ginagawa ko, if the package instruction says 7 minutes, I undercook it ng 1 minute. The reason for that is because I'll be adding the noodles again to the sauce, so may additional cooking time na naman siya. So while you're cooking, it's important also that you stir. So ngayon, ang gagawin ko na is I will be slicing our U.S. pork bacon. So of course, paano yung ba nalalaman? Kung U.S. pork ang binibili nyo, just look for the sticker. So let me just open this pack. Pigs in the U.S. is, of course, grain-fed to perfection. Kaya naman yung kanilang mga napuproduce is really tasty, very juicy, and tender. Kaya naman the same quality is expected from our U.S. pork bacon and U.S. pork luncheon meat. And of course, itong mga products na to is very versatile. Marami siyang pwedeng paggamitan. And it has great taste and high-quality protein content. Yan. You could buy these products at leading supermarkets. We'll flash on the screen. Sanyo siya pwedeng mabili. And of course, don't forget to like and follow U.S. Meats Philippines para mas malaman nyo pa. You get more infos about U.S. pork products. Okay, so let me just set this aside. And then we will slice our U.S. pork luncheon meat. So let me just open this. Siyempre, this dish will, is more delicious using our U.S. pork products. Kasi naman, di ba, like what I said earlier, it has great taste and high-quality protein content. So, bukod sa lasa, ang ganda rin na nutrition na makukuha natin from our U.S. pork products. Okay, so painitin muna natin yung ating pan. First thing that I'm gonna cook is the bacon. 
So I'm not gonna be adding oil to our pan. Diretso na lang to. Because of course, our US pork bacon will render its own fat dito sa ating pan. So we don't have to use oil. And of course, yung fat nito is very flavorful. So we want that for our dish. This is good. So let's start to cook our bacon. So hayaan lang natin siyang maluto. Okay, so habang nililuto natin yung ating bacon, doon sa mga nanonood ko ng mga kasyepis na hindi pa alam, ngayong season 3 may mga aabangan kayo. Isa na dyan yung ating bite-sized versions ng ating US pork. It's the best. So, ito will be, it will be available on my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok accounts. Pero yung full version, kailangan nyo pa rin pumunta sa aking YouTube channel. At isa pa yung dapat abangan. Magkakaroon ako ng mga cook-along Episode. So, I'll be inviting somebody to join me as I cook U.S. pork. So, abangan nyo yan. And also, of course, like what I said earlier, follow the social media page of U.S. Beats Philippines on Facebook to get more information. Yum! Naamoy ko na. Ang sarap nito. Mga ka-chefies, kayo ba? Ano mga usual na luto ang ginagawa nyo when you use U.S. pork bacon o kaya U.S. pork luncheon meat. Share nyo naman yan sa comment section below para mas may interaction tayo because the more I interact with you guys, mas masaya, di ba? And of course, sa mga nanonood ngayon, ha, please, like nyo na tong video na to because the more likes, the more people will get to watch this video. So please, support my channel, like this video, and if you haven't yet, mag-subscribe kayo. And now, I'll be cooking the U.S. pork luncheon meat. Ayan, ang atin namang U.S. pork doesn't really require a long period of time when you want to cook it. Pero of course, we just want to mag-brown yung sides niya. Like so. Parang mag siya. Okay, so this is cooked. Let us just set this aside. Gawin na natin yung sauce. Okay, so using the same pan... Meron pa rin tayo dyang bacon fat, as you can see. Let's now get our butter and place it here on the pan. mix all together. As you can see, our sauce is now getting thickened. Ayan, no? Mmm. Sarap. Isa pa. Give ko pa natitikman. One more time. Mmm. Very nice. Ngayon, lalagyan ko siya ng chili flakes para medyo may konting kick lang. Dun sa mga nanonood na ayo na medyo spicy, of course, you could omit this all together. Okay, let's lower the heat. Yum! Okay, so now let's add back our U.S. pork luncheon meat. I'm just gonna be adding half of it kasi yung iba gagamitin ko for plating later. Yung titira ko for plating. O sige, mga three-fourths. Mm. And of course, lalagay rin natin yung three-fourths of our bacon. Okay, titikman ko ulit. This time with the bacon. Gusto ko lang siyang tikman. Ayan. Mainit-init. Mmm! Sarap! Sarap! Yung creamy flavor na ating sauce together with the slightly smoky and salty flavor of our bacon, US pork bacon. Perfect!
Ayan na mga ka-chefy, sticky man time. Naku, sana natatakam din kayo. Teka, ayusin ko muna tong US pork flag. <laughs> okay, titikman ko muna. Siyempre, kailangan natin yung pasta together with our luncheon meat and bacon. Tusok na yan ng ganyan. Hmm! 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 Anong pangalan ko? Nakalimot. Speechless ako. Ang sarap. Ang sarap ng ating noodles together with the sauce, yung ating cream sauce, and of course, yung flavor ng ating U.S. Park Luncheon Meat and the Bacon. Napakasarap talaga. You have to try this, mga ka-chefies. Oh, your whole family will enjoy this. Nako. Sana inaingan nyo kayong gumawa nito para matikman din ang pamilya nyo. And of course, when you do, gumamit kayo ng U.S. Park products para talaga namang masarap. Mm, 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 mm. Like always, don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Nako. This is something that you shouldn't miss. Kain muna ako, ha? Walang diet-diet. Mm. Mm.